I'm Erin with Five Parks Yoga. Thank you so much for joining me for class today. Today's class is a short sequence to stretch and open the shoulders, chest, and upper back. If you like this class, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're interested in joining me for a yoga retreat, check out my website for more details. Today's class is a great class for props. If you have them, a strap, blocks, maybe a bolster. If you don't have them, don't worry. I'll give you um, options without the props. So they're just here to potentially assist you in the postures or to get you deeper into them. We're gonna start today um, with just five rounds of breath before we begin to move the body. So come into a comfortable seated position, rest your hands on your knees, take a giant shoulder roll, bringing your shoulders up, back and down, away from your ears as you reach the crown of your head up toward the ceiling or the sky. Close your eyes and breathe in deeply through your nose, holding it at the top letting it go through your mouth, nice and slow, settling into this space and into this moment and beginning to connect more deeply to the flow of your breath, breathing in through your nose and now out through your nose, closing your lips for three more breaths. Continue to breathe slow and steady through your nose as we move the body. Place your hands right behind your hips and tent your fingers so your finger pads are on the floor. But the palms of your hands are lifted up off the floor. And press your chest open as you lift your chin and draw your shoulders back, maybe looking up. And then walk your hands forward and continue to walk them as you hinge forward, stretching your hips and low back. Walk your hands off to the left, stretching through your right side. Walk your hands off to the right, stretching through your left side. And then come back through center and just walk your hands all the way back up so that your shoulders are stacked directly over your hips. Bring your right hand off to the right and once again, tent your fingers as you bring your left hand up to the top of your head and draw your left ear toward your left shoulder. Take another breath here. And come back through center and bring your right ear to your right shoulder as you tent your left fingertips down on the floor. Take your hand to the top of your head and gently draw your ear toward your shoulder. Take another breath here. Come back to center, bring both hands to the earth and then just slightly jut your chin forward and bring it down toward your chest, getting a stretch to your upper back and your neck. If you have a healthy neck, just start to sway your head side to side. all the way back up and then make your way to a tabletop position. Let's take a couple of rounds of cat and cow to open the chest and the upper back. So drop your belly down, start to lift through the crown of your head and your tailbone. And then exhale round. So lift and separate your shoulder blades, look toward your navel. Again, arch your spine, round as you breathe out, and one last time. Cow pose, breathe in, and cat pose, breathe out. 
Come back to tabletop position. All right, so let's take thread the needle now to stretch the shoulders on the back side. Keeping your right hand down on the floor, lift your left arm up. Look up towards your fingertips. Now slide your right arm behind your, or your left arm behind your right. Come on to your left shoulder and your left ear, but keep your hips high. Breathe in. And out. Unwind from your twist. Reach your left arm high. Now take your left arm into a half bind, reaching around for your shirt or your pants or your hip. Roll your shoulder open, keeping your head in line with your spine here. So you begin to look up toward the ceiling and then you can just gently release your right ear toward your right shoulder, stretching through your neck. And then bring your head back to neutral, your head in line with your spine. Reach your left arm up and place it back down on the floor and we'll switch sides. So reach your right arm up, look up toward your fingertips. Now slide your right arm behind your left. Come on to your right shoulder and your right ear. Keep your hips high. Breathe in. And out. Reach your arm all the way back up as you unwind from your twist. And then place your right hand toward your left hip. Take hold of your shirt or your pants. Keep your head in line with your spine as you start to rotate your gaze up. And then from here, you can gently release your left ear toward your left shoulder. Now bring your head back in line with your spine. Bring your arm up and then release down toward your mat. Now let's take melting heart pose. So you can walk your knees back a little bit for some more space at the front of your mat. Keep your hips over your knees and then start to walk your hands forward and out to the edges, toward the edges of your mat. As you lower your chin, your forehead, and your chest down toward the floor. Take three breaths here. Now from this position, you're gonna make your way to Sphinx Pose. So you're gonna place your forearms down on your mat and then just make your way forward onto your belly and then start to lift through the crown of your head and then bring your chin toward your left shoulder, looking to the left, come back to center, bring your chin to your right shoulder, come back to center, Bring your shoulders by your ears as you sink down and bring your chin to your chest for lazy sphinx. Excellent stretch for your upper back and neck. And then come back up into sphinx. So shrug your shoulders down, lift up through the crown of your head and then make your way all the way down onto your belly. Now slide your right hand in so it's underneath your shoulder. Extend your left arm straight off to the left and you're gonna roll toward your left. As you roll toward your left, you're gonna bring your right leg up and over, bend it, plant your foot on the floor, and then relax your ear down onto your mat. So no tension in your neck as you take this twist in your spine and this very deep stretch to your left shoulder. And then come all the way back through center and you're just going to switch sides. So take your 
left hand underneath your left shoulder. Extend your right arm to the right and roll in the direction of your right arm. Left leg comes up and over. You bend it and then plant your foot to the floor. Relax your ear down on your mat. So there's no tension in your neck. Make your way back onto your stomach. So we're gonna take locust pose for a chest stretch. If your shoulders are tight and you can't interlace your fingers like so, you can use a strap behind your back. So you would just take your strap or your belt or whatever you have accessible to you and you're gonna hold onto it in both hands. Now I'm gonna give you the option to take the full spine strengthener with feet lifted or you can just lift your chest. So either holding onto your strap or interlacing your fingers, start to peel your chest up off the floor as you press your fists towards your heels. You can hold here, legs heavy on your mat, just focusing on your chest and shoulders, or if you'd like to, you can lift your legs up off of the floor. Most importantly though, focus on the opening in your chest, the stretch in your shoulders, the strengthening in your upper back. Keep your neck long, so try not to crank your head back. You wanna keep space in the back of your neck, Okay, now release from this pose, and you're gonna counterpose it with child's pose. If you'd like to take your child's pose deeper into the shoulders, you have the option of taking two blocks and placing them at shoulder distance apart. And it might take a minute to kind of get the blocks in the right position, and I'll show you without the blocks as well, but you're gonna take your hips into a child's pose position, so hips to heels, and then you're gonna bring your elbows onto your blocks. I'm gonna bring mine a little bit closer. You have to kind of figure it out for yourself. As far as the distance of your blocks, you're gonna take your hands, connect the palms of your hands, and then you're gonna bring your thumbs to the back of your head. Okay, so with your elbows up on blocks, you just have a little more space to sink down towards your mat. Of course, we don't have blocks. Take the same position, just elbows to your mat and thumbs to the back of your head. Release from this position. Move your blocks out of the way if you have blocks. And then make your way onto your feet at the front of your mat for ragdoll pose. So you're just gonna take your feet to hip distance apart. You're gonna drape your torso over your thighs and take opposite hand to opposite elbow. This is an excellent release for your upper back and shoulders. So let the weight of your arms help traction your spine, your upper back, as well as the weight of your head, and just dangle here. So your knees are as bent as, as is needed so that you don't really have to focus on the stretch in the backs of your legs, but focus on the opening in your upper back. Take another breath here. Okay, release your hands down onto your mat. Bring your right foot a little bit closer to center. You're gonna step your left foot back, preparing yourself for warrior one. So plant your heel down on the floor. Now you can take your, we're gonna take a chest expansion. So you can take your strap with you as you come up. So you can reach your arms up. So this is warrior one with your arms extended up above you. And then for humble warrior, you're gonna take your hands and hold on to your strap, just like I showed you on the floor, okay, for your chest expansion, or you can take your hands and interlace them behind your back. You're gonna come forward, bringing your right shoulder to the inside of your right knee as your arms come up and over the back of your head. Mm 
One more breath here in Humble Warrior. Okay, now release your hands back down toward the floor and then step your left foot to meet your right. If you have a strap, take your strap with you. We're gonna do some shoulder opening movement with a strap. And if you don't have a strap, I'll instruct you on what to do. Take your hands behind your back, hold onto your strap, just bring it behind you with your palms facing out and forward. You're gonna, um, again, find the distance between your hands that works for you. You're gonna start to bring your arms up and over and down in front. So you might need to expand your grip on your strap a lot or bring it in. So it just depends. Now, if you don't have a strap, no worries. You can take a chest expansion. So for a chest expansion, just take your hands and release them behind your back and you're gonna hinge forward, forward, fold and hold it, okay? So if you're continuing to take these movements, just go back and forth. Mobility in your shoulders here. Excellent stretch. All right, now if you're in chest expansion, just release your hands down toward the floor. If you're not, drop your strap and then come into a forward fold. Bring your right foot out behind you for warrior one on the other side and humble warrior. With or without your strap, rise up, warrior one. For humble warrior, bring your hands behind your back, interlace your fingers, and then bring your left shoulder to the inside of your left knee. Gaze back towards your back foot to let your arms fall up and over the back of your head. Release your hands down to either side of your foot and then step back to downward facing dog. Take a breath here in downward facing dog. And release down onto your shins, cross over your ankles. We're gonna take cow face pose. If you are not interested in taking the posture with your legs, you can just take a cross-legged posture. We really are focusing on the upper body. So I'm gonna take the cow face legs as well. Otherwise, just cross your legs. You're gonna take your left knee, point it toward the front of your mat. Bring your right knee and stack it on top of your left. Keep your sitting bones grounded with or without a strap. So for your strap, you take your right hand, take a grip on your strap and then just drape it over your back and then take your left hand and hold on to your strap at the bottom. Otherwise, Take your right hand up and over and clasp your fingertips behind your back. Sit upright, keeping your shoulders stacked over your hips and your head in line with your spine. If you want to take it a little bit deeper in your hips, you're welcome to hinge forward. Okay, now release your grip, your clasp, and bring your right arm across your body. Take your left hand, hold on to the back of your right arm as you stretch it and reach across your body. And release. Now we're gonna switch out the legs. So even if you're just cross-legged, put your other leg in front. Bring your left knee and stack it on top of your right. Sitting bones firmly planted on the floor. So make sure you're not rolling off one side or the other. Left arm comes up and over, maybe holding onto your strap or clasping your hands behind your back as long as you can keep your shoulders over your hips and your head in line with your spine. Option to forward fold if you'd like. Release 
the clasp of your hands and bring your left arm across your body. Take hold of the back of your left arm with your right hand. Just reach, lower your shoulder away from your ear. And release. Bring your feet out in front of you, both knees, legs bent, knees pointing up. Bring your hands behind you at um, shoulder distance apart. And then we're gonna come into reverse tabletop to open the chest. So plant firmly down into your feet and start to lift your hips as you roll your shoulders back and look up. Breathe in out to release. You can take that one more time or you can take reverse plank now. Straightening your legs, pressing your toes down toward the earth and then lift up again. And release. If your legs aren't already, bend them lower down onto your back. We're gonna take bridge pose with chest expansion. If chest expansion isn't available to you, you can rest your arms alongside your body. You're still gonna be opening up your chest. So bring your heels in, start to lift your hips up, and then interlace your hands underneath. Once you have the grip of your hands, you can start to roll one shoulder and then another, propping your chest a little bit higher, lifting your heart. Breathe here. our last pose of class before Shavasana is fish or supported fish. Supported fish is a nice passive chest opener. Fish is a little bit more of an active one. So if you have blocks for, or a bolster for supported fish, set yourself up placing one block at any height along the um, center of your spine and then the other block at any height for your head, okay, so it's gonna look like, look like this. It's gonna allow you to just open your chest and shoulders, giving your shoulders more room to drop down toward the mat. If you wanna take fish pose instead of supported fish, without blocks, you're gonna take your forearms to the floor, fingers pointing toward the front of your mat, and then you're gonna gently drop your head back Maybe releasing it down toward the floor, maybe not. So hold this posture. If you're in supported fish, you're gonna to wanna to roll off to the side and remove the blocks out from underneath you. Or you can stay there for your Shavasana if that feels really good and relaxing to you. Our next posture, our final posture is Shavasana. So set everything aside, make room to take up some space, release your legs long on your mat, arms alongside your body, palms facing up. 
fingers relaxed. Close your eyes, breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Return to the natural rhythm of your breath as you release and relax fully into this posture. So much for joining me for class today. Today as you go forward, may you have peace in your thoughts and peace in your words, peace in your heart. From my heart to yours, namaste.